Hello and welcome our Tanasis. Viewers of Eternity. So, last time I actually did uh, manage to do something stupid and uh, say it on the same spot before I ended the recording. And the recorder crashed, so I had to start all over again and may have missed some stuff, but I put everything in my stash instead of uh, my hand, including my pistol over here. And this is uh, leather armor, which I really liked. Oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to go see Hayden or Hidian or whatever his name is. Hiedon. Ah, whatever. Okay. Because he's incredible, that uh, Sparkle? Sparto? Sparkle? Whatever. No surprise, Sparkle went hunting less less his uh, water skins. Come on. Come on, okay. You crouch at the river bank and dip your water skin into a cool water while Casca. Kaliska, let's not uh, forget who Casca is, waits nearby, keeping watch as you rise. You'll notice her, look up shortly towards the tree line. Out of the trees emerges Sparful, one of the, gu the guides. Barely inseparable in the dim moonlight, he no longer carries a bow and there is a straightness in his grin. He's a uh, stride woolly and moves towards you with labor breath. Kaliska, false, Sparfo, you alright? Well, no, he looks like he's gonna die any second and... Wouldn't you know it, he's dead. I love this art, by the way. It looks amazing, like uh, in um, Touch of Evil, the board game. Sparful toe catches on a rock and he collapses forward in a hip. A leather strap up an arrow plants between his shoulders like an enemy flag. Okay. Oh no, an ambush! Those guys just forfeit their darn lives for some stupid reason. Okay. I'll get the archer. You destroy the idiot who thinks he can take him from behind. Oh, nice hit. And he's blind, and now he's going to die. And he's dead. Oh, that's hilarious. Dead, people. We laugh at it. Yeah, both of them are dead. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Or we can run the other way and le leave the morons spent for themselves. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to equip the bow right now. You're kidding me. I forgot to... Uh, whatever. should stop doing that with the stash thing. Okay. People. Um, not this way, I think. Uh, okay, let's run forward. Game paused and unpaused. Hey, push this guy. He's not someone special. Oh, would you just kill him now? Well, that wasn't bad, that was it? Why don't you... Ooh. And she broke him. Well, I did more damage to him, so I guess it's my victory. No bows here, though. However, there should be a bow here. Yep. Thank you. Now, do I need arrows for the bow? That's something I don't know. We'll see. Follow me and step where I step. An aqua from Neverwinter Nights too. Oh no, Kevin Master uh, Obama? Odema. I keep forgetting that name. All around you lie the massacred remains of the other travelers, prepared with arrows, knives, hilts, uh, splayed and buck-eyed in the fluency. Kaleska puts her back of her left hand on her mouth as if to warp away some poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen, trading on limbs and backs of heads, jerking their axes from bodies half as if from half-split logs. One of them, twirling 
and silver with a thick beard, beard tasseled with knots, holds a wet blade at the neck of a man you recognize as Hilden. No, not the merchant. At least one of your caravan left standing. The last of your caravan made standing, okay. Hey, tell you want, trespassers, do not forfeit this man's life for a fight you lose. So you're not going to kill him if we do that. Why have you done this? No, nope, I'm not going to ask this. I know why they did this. They're just stupid. And they didn't know I was there. We have not trespassed. We merely wish to pass through. I don't know what they did, but I don't have anything to do with it. That's God's way out, by the way. Murderers, you pay for each life. You try to kill us all. Either way, why make it easy? Yes, let's say, why make it easy? The man gives light sideways, not on his men, perhaps acknowledging the of your response. Astutiousness? Okay. Many things may happen. The only one you can be sure of is that if you hold your weapons, I will drain this man upon the ground. So I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust him. They mean to kill us. Okay, I hope there is an option that says, why do you think I care about this pathetic little man's life? But there's one chance you have. You let him go and I'll let you live. If you kill him, I'll butcher you all. Okay, we're innocent. This we will not listen to reason. Your courage is a mask. None of you slay a true warrior. You can kill him, but you might as well be killing yourselves. Oh, there it is. I like mine better because I really don't show any care for this guy. Judging by the strains of animal theatre around your neck, I am guessing you are worshippers of Gwelwyn. If Gwelwyn told you to stop protecting the ruins, would you? Instead, the man hogs his head intrigued. Of course, but he would not. It is by his command that all of gods that we accept this charge. How do you know? Because of consistent with their beliefs or because it's what you were told? It's always been known to my people. I see, and what Gwilwen addicts the weakness and age must be purged by the youth and strength. You think Gwilwen will do want some moldy crumbling stones to survive long after their builders have turned to dust? He would not. He told us otherwise. I'm sure he did. Just not to you personally. It's very complicated, isn't it? Well, but why should that stop you from killing innocents? Well, that's not something I can say. Well, then the man grabs photos from the axe handle and then nearly fumbles it for hand on the movement he needs to dodge of his swing, which comes too late. Howling with rage, the man charge you instead. Okay. Blinding arrow. Look at this guy. You can do something with this one. And you should help her. Aha! Okay, time for me to join the fight. I actually should have changed my rapier to the right hand because at this game it seems that the right hand is a preferred hand. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Actually, I think uh, the blade you hold in your right hand will be lost after this. Uh, why don't you help them, dude? I mean, I know they are worthless at all, but uh, you don't need to show them. They are. And this one turned to... Organs. Okay. You animalize upon the ground, unable to rise. His companions now silent amongst the other dead. He breaths come in whistling, grateful grasp. It looks not at you, but the sky is above you. Forgive us. Barely an animal breathe, his choke slides and whisper and wind steers the air. At least the man's eyes roll back as he closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. The gods are just what? Oh, just. Like justice, okay. A queer smile across his face. I am Raddy. Well, Raddy, I don't really care what your name is. The winds begin to swell, uh, wiping around the camp, electric and volatile, unable to pulse the rattling dance like an angry spirit. You can feel its being to seep beneath your skin, and where it pierces you, it feels as though it renders you apart from within. Okay, continue. Set against the wagon wheels, Mr. Howling Mullers. 
Maelstorm, slash across the chest and bow. Obama, Obama, his body steers and with great effort he raises his a uh, sagging head. His eyes barely open. He looks directly at you. Fly, you fools! And so Gandalf the Grey dies. Little did we know that our adventures had just begun. We have angered gods far worse than I had anticipated, but nothing could stand in my way. I would survive this no matter the cost. Starting against the gear with threatening to pull, my, pull me off the ten from feet with every step, I set my hand a warm fold of footwork rock and set about pulling myself upon the pro Okay, I'm going to read this as it is. I just am not very sure I pronounced this correctly. Precips. 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 Ah, whatever. It last burst of energy before your arms give out. You swing yourself up onto the ledge. He wooden trails behind, swallowed by injury and delivered by early hesitation. Okay. Uh, as he nears the face of the rock, one of the fallen attackers, we destroy them all, who had been fighting dead. Why would you do that, dude? You're going to die now. Holding and drops uh, uh, him onto the raw ground. We're staying, he then lashes out against his fellow assailants, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you, despite the wind from your position. If you were to throw your weapon at the attacker, you would have a good chance of hitting your mark. Let my weapon fly true. Your aim is true, and the head drowns uh, Yodan loose. Lung from his feet, Hayden clambers to the face of the rocks as he needs the top. However, the winds flare, pulling him sideways, attacking on his hands free. But diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of it. Securing his other hand, you pull within the waves of a straight. It feels as though your arms will be jerked from their socket. They hold just long enough for him to set his fleet a feet and join you on the trembling ledge. There is a deep renaissance of swelling wind now. You feel it through the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavern, your own chest as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces and the old stones before you lose the connection and stalling balance as you dart beneath the old archway. The entire portal begins to fall behind its own weight. Well, brilliant architecture. I wonder how this survived so many years to become ruins. Oh well. As your character makes choices in conversation and quests, he or she may start developing reputation both generally and with specific factions. Characters in this world will respond to these choices in a good or a bad way. Okay. What's that? Come between whistling gasp. A biawak, biawak, had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we are the only ones. Well, you're lucky to be alive. I could have survived storms much worse than this, but I'm awesome, so. Yeah, you're alive. That's good. And I just sacrificed my dagger to save you, so I'm gonna take one of your daggers. We can stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out of the way anyway. Let's get further inside. Oh, that's brilliant! Chased by these lunatics guarding this temple and most possibly resigning in them. And who knows what kind of uh, pestilence lies within. It's completely dark, unknown, and may be filled with booby traps, but yes, let's lodge right in because, you know, it's stupid that way. Oh, but I just, I'm gonna take point from here, so you can just sit back and, uh, actually you can die right now, because uh, I don't care about you anymore. But I'm not gonna tell you that. So, and dialogue. So, anything interesting? Come on. A whole level of this ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. Like I said, brilliant architectures, people. Ooh, by the way, I'm gonna steal your jacket, because I like leather. And your lockpicks, because... Are you Chinese? Well, we all know what we say about Chinese people. 
hit one once and uh, in an hour you would like to repeat. I don't remember where this comes from, but uh, I think it was funny. By the way, I think Chinese people are awesome, so don't worry about it. Okay. What's wrong, people? Without chest, right is falling visible with each breath. That should be far enough. You made seven steps. I actually counted them. Anyway. Look, another way out. Storm has died sometime. Or, you know. My hand's bleeding. Interesting. I never saw the wound. Uh. We look for another way out. What happened out here? We know what happened. Who attacked us? We also know who attacked us. What about everyone else in the cavern? Well, we all know what happened to them as well. You don't seem too upset about all this. Yeah, saying something like that might gain you a slap in the face or a punch in the chest. So let's get going. Which way? Let's go right, because going right is never wrong. Then we'll go wrong, because I'm pretty sure we're going the wrong way. Oh, look! A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, coaching a spear. Cobalt elbows and ribs show those thick, scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a saurip. It watches you, cautiously, breathing in ranged sights. Raise your hands, stand still. Uh, the creature cocks heads and approaches you. A soft clicking sound emerges from the back of its throat. Ech. Yeah, that's a stupid sound. It's okay, I won't hurt you. I tear you to pieces, lizard! Slowly back away. It's okay, I won't hurt you. Yes, let's light him. Because fingers uh, still up tightly around its spear. Oxyseven approaches you. A soft clicking sound emerges from the back of its throat. Again. Let's back away. Usually I would shoot him in the face, but now I only have a bow, so let's do this, this, and... BANG! Aha! He's blind! Kill him! Kill him before he lays eggs! Did he hit you? How pathetic are you? Oh look, things... Whatever. Look! A person! Let's ask him for directions. Hello, that man! Ooh, he has a crossbow! Shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Wait, you hear that? No? Wait! Oh well. I should have gone up ahead, like always, but whatever. Hey, here's a young little stupid man. Let's uh, blind him first and... Oh yeah, you owe me a dagger, dude. A dagger for your life. That's how we do business. Thank you. Hmm. Ooh, I got an axe. <laughs> this looks like could be shortcut. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Let's go this way now. Because I was here before. Looks suspicious, let's be careful. Oh no! Okay, lads and lasses. I'm going to pause the video here and disarm all the traps, because I've done this before. And I actually paused them before, but uh, just to show you. Disarming this. Well, that was close. So I'll be back when all the traps are disabled. Okay, they're disabled, so let's move there. Symbols. Let's light all the lamps because the map looks pretty that way. By the way, I uh, wanted to. Sp I don't remember if I spoke about the uh, obsidian. Now, obsidian is the developer of uh, this game, and uh, it developed many other games. I'm gonna wear the cloth for some time now, but that's gonna change. I don't wear clocks. So the first game I played from this was uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2: The Sith Lords. It was a fun game, I liked it. It was uh, actually the first uh, Star Wars game I played on PC. Well, that and Jedi Academy, but... 
ancient yet the colors yet the colors are still bright and velvet like Egyptian architecture I guess uh, nice of your Republic I really like the game the Sith Lords was it called um, so anyway they have uh, the unfortunate uh, fate to inherit games from Bioware and as we all know Bioware is amazing at uh, creating games Aha. come on give it Including the Neverwinter Night series. Neverwinter Night is the game I actually played. I didn't play uh, Neverwinter Night uh, 1. Uh, only Neverwinter Night 2. Actually, wait, that's not true. I played Neverwinter Nights once. Didn't finish it, uh, just till the second act. I didn't remember the game. I didn't find it that uh, interesting, mostly because of the colors. A vicious slick, something dark and tower like, runs down the swell, the shapes of the poker in the ooze against something lies beneath but you can tell what clear out the ooze yes let's uh, waste our water I mean we are going to die if we don't drink it but sure rice ooze ways revealing an interesting relief of a man's face some birds running its high of jumpland way in places but the details his head form tight curl hair on the rights of its painted ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is uh, empty, a chain fills the other one. Let's steal the other. No, we can't. Okay, plus the chain chain. Chamber begins to rumble, stay rocks uh, dancing across the floor, finally a large section of the wall gives way. Oh great, we just uh, buried ourselves in. Yeah, that happens when you don't know what you're doing. Oh, come on, just die. Thank you. And it's mine. Mine and cloth for protection. Let's see how this one looks, actually. Just want to see how it looks. I'm not gonna wear it. I might actually get one of my companions. Yeah, this one looks better. Here, you can have this. And you can have this. Yeah, it looks funny. Capes, I never liked capes. Even the Never Winter Nights one, it, they just look fake. Okay, lots and lasses. Oh, and it never went to the right still as well. Okay, lots and lasses, I'm gonna take a break here, so see you all next time. Bye.